Picture this. A tranquil afternoon in the Scottish Highlands interrupted by an inexplicable sight. A diamond-shaped craft hovering in the sky. It was 1990, a year known for its calm before the storm of the new millennium, and the setting was Calvine, a picturesque village nestled among the rolling hills and deep lochs of Scotland. Nature was in full harmony, the only sounds were those of birds chirping and the occasional rustle of the wind. Then, in the midst of this idyllic scene, something extraordinary happened. The calm was broken, not by a thunderstorm or a sudden gust of wind, but by the appearance of an object so peculiar it defied all logic and understanding, a diamond-shaped craft, suspended in the clear blue sky. Kevin Russell, a local resident, happened to be at the right place at the right time. With his camera in hand, he did what any of us would do. He started snapping photographs, capturing the mysterious object in all its mystifying glory. These photographs would later become the infamous Calvine Photos, a captivating record of the extraordinary event that unfolded that fateful day. The immediate aftermath of the incident was as dramatic as the sighting itself. The photographs were seized by the authorities, shrouded in secrecy and hidden from the public eye. For over three decades, the Calvine photos remained unseen. The details of the incident buried under layers of official silence and speculation. The man behind the camera, Kevin Russell, was thrust into a world of mystery and intrigue, his life forever changed by what he had witnessed. In the blink of an eye, an ordinary day had turned into an episode of The Twilight Zone, with Kevin Russell at the center. On now fast forward three decades, the man behind the camera, Kevin Russell, has stepped forward. A Scottish man, Kevin Russell, has recently emerged from the shadows as the elusive photographer behind the infamous Calvine photo. This photograph, a snapshot of a diamond-shaped craft suspended in the Scottish sky, has been kept under wraps for over 30 years. Russell, once an average citizen, has now found himself at the center of a decades-old mystery. Russell's emergence raises questions about his experiences following the Calvine incident. It's been suggested that he may have had encounters with government agencies or mysterious figures often associated with UFO sightings. Imagine the suspense, the uncertainty of not knowing who might knock on your door next. Imagine the fear of being watched, of being followed. It's a reality that Russell has had to grapple with for the better part of his life. His decision to step forward wasn't made lightly. Russell knew that by revealing his identity, he would expose himself to intense media scrutiny and potential government attention. But he also knew that his story, his experiences, were too important to stay hidden. His decision speaks volumes about his courage and his commitment to truth. But as we delve deeper into Russell's story, we must also consider the implications of his revelation. His emergence raises pertinent questions about the responsibilities of both the media and government in handling sensitive information. It highlights the need for protecting individuals like Russell, who are thrust into the spotlight of UFO phenomena. Russell, once an ordinary man, now finds himself in an extraordinary situation. It's a situation that carries with it not just the weight of his own experiences, but also the hopes and expectations of a global community of UFO enthusiasts. And as we piece together the puzzle of the Calvine UFO incident, we must remember the human element at its core. Kevin Russell. The Calvine photos, shrouded in secrecy for over 30 years, have finally seen the light of day. The unveiling of these images has sent shockwaves through the UFO community, sparking heated debates and wild theories across online forums and social media platforms. The release was met with an outpouring of public fascination, a testament to our insatiable curiosity about the unknown. The quality of these photographs is nothing short of remarkable. The diamond-shaped craft, captured in stunning detail, seems to hover in the midday sky, almost ethereal against the backdrop of the Scottish Highlands. The images are so clear, so detailed, that they offer a tantalizing glimpse into a moment frozen in time, a moment that has puzzled enthusiasts and skeptics alike for more than three decades. The significance of these photos in the annals of UFO history cannot be overstated. They represent a tangible piece of evidence in a field often marred by blurred images and dubious eyewitness accounts. Here in high definition clarity is a craft of unknown origin. 
its design and capabilities defying our understanding of aerodynamics and propulsion. Yet as we delve deeper into the details of these photographs, we find ourselves in a labyrinth of intrigue and speculation. The craft's sleek diamond shape, its apparent ability to hover without any visible means of propulsion, the strange aura surrounding it, all these elements weave a complex tapestry of questions that defy our current scientific understanding. So what does this mean? Are we looking at an advanced terrestrial technology that's been kept under wraps, or is this evidence of extraterrestrial visitation? Could this be an elaborate hoax or perhaps a misinterpretation of natural phenomena? The hypotheses are as numerous as they are diverse. The photos, as puzzling and intriguing as they are, only seem to raise more questions than answers. Yet isn't that the beauty of this mystery? The quest for answers pushes us to explore, to question, to seek the truth, no matter how elusive it may be. The Calvine photos, in all their enigmatic glory, continue to fuel this timeless human endeavor. With the truth now out in the open, one must consider the implications. The emergence of Kevin Russell, the man behind the lens of the infamous Calvine photo, is indeed an event of significance. The question that now hovers, just like that diamond-shaped craft in the Scottish sky, is what's next for Russell? In a world where every click, every post, every comment is under scrutiny, Russell finds himself under the glaring spotlight. And this spotlight isn't just the curious eyes of UFO enthusiasts, it's the relentless media, hungry for the next big story, and potentially the watchful gaze of government agencies. Russell's story is a testament to the overwhelming power of revelation, but it's also a stark reminder of the potential consequences. After all, he's not just a photographer, he's a man whose life has been irrevocably changed by a single moment. This situation prompts us to reflect on the responsibilities of those who wield the power of information. The media, in their quest for truth, must also ensure the protection of individuals like Russell. They must navigate the thin line between revelation and exploitation, between public interest and personal intrusion. And then there's the government. Its role in this narrative isn't just about UFOs and national security, it's about the protection of its citizens, even those who find themselves in extraordinary circumstances. While the truth about the Calvine incident continues to unfold, we must also consider the personal toll this revelation might take on Russell. It's a reminder that behind every headline, every sensation, there's a human story, a life forever altered. As we delve deeper into the mysteries of the universe, let's not forget the individuals who become a part of this complex narrative. Let's remember to treat their stories with the respect and care they deserve. The spotlight, while illuminating, can also cast long and menacing shadows. As we delve deeper into this enigma, concerns for Russell's safety and fair treatment come to the forefront. The sudden spotlight on Russell, once shrouded in anonymity, has led to an outpouring of public concern. The unforeseen consequences of his emergence are now a topic of widespread discussion. The UFO phenomena, often dismissed as the fodder of conspiracy theorists, has a human face in Kevin Russell. His story underscores the need for careful consideration and support for those who find themselves in the heart of such extraordinary events. Those who dare to share their experiences with the world often face skepticism, ridicule, or worse, threats to their personal safety. The question then arises, how do we ensure the protection of individuals like Russell, who risk everything in pursuit of the truth? As we grapple with these concerns, we must also contemplate the potential next steps for Russell. His journey is far from over. The revelation of his identity and his role in the Calvine UFO incident has only fueled the fire of curiosity. The world is watching, eager for the next chapter in this unfolding narrative. The ongoing interest in the case is a testament to our collective fascination with the unknown. It reminds us that we are still explorers, yearning to uncover the mysteries that lie beyond our earthly realm. The Calvine UFO incident, once a forgotten footnote in the annals of UFO sightings, has now become a beacon for those who seek answers. In the face of scrutiny and potential threats, what course will Russell choose? Will he retreat back into the shadows or will he stand firm, continuing to share his story and shedding light on the enigmatic event he witnessed over three decades ago? In this extraordinary tale of UFOs and secrecy, there's one truth we can all agree on. 
The story of the Calvine UFO incident is far from over.